at that time then, Joe, when you get shot twice mm. and you're thinking you've not got a boxing career, how were you feeling then? The lowest point of my life, to tell you the truth, James. Because Family worried also. At the end of the day, they're always going to worry. You know, blood, blood, family, they're always going to worry. Even if there's family members that you're not talking to, they still worry about you. They still care about you because you're family, you know. And they were concerned because they knew what I was capable of doing and they were worried that I was going to take the Lord into my own hands after this gang had attacked me. They thought I was going to go and, on the rampage. But I controlled myself and, um, like I said, I was charged. I beat the charges and, um, like I said, headlines in the newspaper, justice prevails. But at the time, my legal fees were running money that I, I hadn't got because the brewery were trying to evict me from the pub, saying that I wasn't a fit landlord because of... Violence. Violence. My fiance at the time, Lisa Murphy, was running around with Michael Flatley. And, um, so she was messing you about? Oh, listen, it was all over the world's news. Okay. She was living in my house in Ireland, right? So I had to try and sort out my house. So I had legal battles over my house. I had um, legal battles with the brewery and I had also legal battles with the, 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 the police being charged. So I sold my watch to my mum and dad. I got me from my 18th birthday. My ring, they got me from my 21st. I sold my car. I sold everything I had. I wasn't getting legal aid to fight all these. You can't fight on all fronts. And, um, I was running out of money. And then the guy that was working in the pub, a friend of mine, his sister was caught in this guy that came in, used to drink in the pub, Jack the Lad, bit of a Dell boy. We had an old folks home next door to the pub. And we had a man used to come into the pub that turned 100 and 101. He had his two birthdays in my pub, 100 and 100. He used to come in with his son. His son was about 80, right? <laughs> and uh, we had a lot of old people come in from the old folks home. And this guy used to come in, Jack the Lad, Dell boy with his file of facts. And I buy everybody drink. And I thought, what a nice guy. He was a car trader. Anyway, he knew my predicament. He knew I was in a bit of difficulty with money. And he said, listen, he said, I'll give you an opportunity to earn a few quid. He said, uh, let me park some cars in your car park. Could have parked the tank on my car park for all I was getting. He was oh. going to give me some money. Park what you want, right? Anyway, let him park cars in my car park. Turned out to be stolen cars. Um, and suddenly, there's a big conspiracy. I'd beaten the attempted murder charges, but I was warned that the powers to be wouldn't let it lie. And now suddenly they've they've got stolen cars in my car park of a pub and I'm dragged into this. Um, yeah, I did get the guy permission to park the cars in my car park. Mm -hmm. Yes, I did get money out of them, but I didn't know the stolen cars. And um, suddenly now I'm up on a stolen car charge, conspiracy. I was offered a deal. Bit of stupidity in me. When you're a kid, you have somebody in a headlock and they say, we give you the draw. Mm -hmm. you got only because you got the beatings at them. So when I was offered this deal, I thought, I haven't done anything wrong. What was it do? Just accept handling. So I, thought, you, I haven't handled anything. Yeah. You know what I mean? Admitting you'd go with you. Yeah, I haven't done anything. Yeah. You know? <laughs> and uh, I said, no, no. My business partner at the time was screwed up. He said, Joe, take the deal. Do you know what I mean? He said, they've got you. Mm -hmm. I said, they haven't got anything. As it turned out, the guy that was... Um, doing the cars he was working with the police and he said I was working with him and uh, they gave me two and a half years in prison and um, they tried to increase it then to seven they eventually increased it to four people getting slapped on the wrist for stolen cars mm -hmm. I'm going to prison trying to look for it for seven years do you think they tried to get you yeah of course they did yeah because of yeah of course, of course. I had to accept pub, it yeah. I had to accept it you know but when when in every boy's eyes his dad's the toughest man on the planet and in my eyes, my dad's the toughest man on the planet. And um, on the day I was found guilty, my dad was up in, the, up, in the, up in the gallery. And when I was a little boy, I saw him coming from work this day. Me and my brother's coming from school. And my mum went, get up to bed, get up to bed, get up to bed. It was only half past four. Batman was on at five o'clock. So we went up the stairs and I sat at the top of the stairs. I cradled one of my brothers in his arms, in my arms. And I was panicking because I thought, what's wrong? Mum's mom's a bit... Like, a, you know, she's a bit agitated. What's wrong here? So then my dad came in from work. He was home at this time. And I remember my mum meeting him at the front door and him talking to her at the front door, looking through the banisters, me and my brother. And um, I saw him hold his head in his hand and start crying. And my world just caved in. I got, I got the fright of my life. My dad crying. What's wrong? I'd never seen him cry before. As it turned out, his daddy had died. My granddad had died. And I was too young to understand. I just didn't know what was going on. Mm -hmm. So all them years later, when I'm found guilty in court, and I look up to the gallery, 
And I see my dad hold his head in his hands and start crying. And I just felt sick. I felt ashamed. Even now talking about it, James, I feel, it doesn't matter how many times I talk about it, mm. I still feel sick and ashamed. Then, oh, actually. listen, it, it, it just it makes me feel so low to think that me getting sent to prison had the same effect on my dad as his daddy dying.